Opera in the Park kicks off the season for the Indianapolis Opera coming up this weekend. And it's a, a big season. We're going to talk about that with David Starkey, who's the general director of the Indianapolis Opera, but also with a gentleman who you will see on stage, one of the people we see on stage at Opera in the Park, pianist Joshua Thompson. Welcome, gentlemen. How are you? Good Very morning. Good. Thanks for having us. It's, it's good to see you. Let's talk about the season opener first. Uh, Joshua, you are on stage with... Our dear friend, the fabulous Angela Brown, who's going to be there. The, you, you, have you performed with Angela before? I assume you have. Performed with her several times, and every time is an absolute treat. She is an international superstar. She's a hometown hero, so it's just fun whenever we get together and just do what we do, which is create art and opera. It is beautiful, and, and in the great outdoors of Garfield Park. Now, if you are not familiar with Joshua Thompson, I've heard that sometimes he goes by the name Sock Joplin. And I don't know if that has to do with the socks he's wearing right now. Yes. Is it maybe so? <laughs> we're we're having a sock off apparently. <laughs> Tweety I'm bird versus the, here, the, the ladybugs. <laughs> I, I like the ladybugs. <laughs> David did not get the memo, so uh, we'll have Just to non-matching blues. We'll have to fix that for next time. But uh, okay, who the heck is Sock Joplin? I'm so curious. my stage name is derived from uh, the composer uh, Scott Joplin. Obviously, yeah. and so right, and so classical music opera can sometimes have this very stuffy air of pretense and sophistication mm -hmm. so as a way to mellow that out and also to remind myself you love what you do just have fun with it everything doesn't have to be so serious so the socks are kind of a nice kitsch way of uh, me let my guard down and telling the audience they can let their guard down that's too right. and just enjoy music and doesn't have to be so serious well, it's much more comfortable playing that way as well that's very cool because <laughs> that's kind of what Angela has tried to do over her career as well she does this wonderful uh, one person show called opera from a sister's point of view yes. which is fabulous I hope uh, I get to see it uh, one more time before she's done but yeah that's that's something it, it brings out uh, gets rid of the pretension at yes. least that people perceive right. is there in the opera in the classical music world you have some works that are very very serious and that's fine you yeah. have some that are quite the opposite and the performers were just people as well right and uh, so it's a wonderful way of just leveling that playing field between artist and audience and again it's just it's just light it's just fun and I I collect socks from folks around the country they send them in and the, the louder and the more obnoxious the better so. uh, absolutely now do, do you just play in the socks when you uh, perform is that, is that a thing? That's it. I don't play with my shoes on, so okay. every performance, including this one, uh -huh. you will see me with my socks All right. On. So there you go. <laughs> that's that's uh, what you have to look forward to. David, last time you were here, we were talking about the coming season. Yes. It had not been announced as yes. of then. Right. Now we know what this season is. This is the season opener and uh, a lot to look forward to, I take it. Yes, 48 years has been uh, quite a long time in processing and planning. It's the countdown for the 50th anniversary also. Angela Brown has been with us, and now we are going to amp that up to another level. Not only has she been with us now for several years as our celebrity guest host for Opera in the Park, but this is going to be also a precursor. She's going to give us a little bit of a teaser with singing some special music from Tosca, which she is going to also grace the stage in Indianapolis for the first time, singing Tosca for the Indianapolis Opera. Mm. She has done this around the world. She has sung Aida and Porgy and Bess in Indianapolis back in the day, but she has never done Tosca, which she's probably one of the finest ones of our generation. And she's going to do that here in Indianapolis, the first and ever time. And it's going to be the one time only. But we're going to tease you. We're going to bring you into the reality of how phenomenal she is with the accompaniment of people like Joshua and other singers that are right here in the Indianapolis area for Opera in the Park. And that's the thing about the Indianapolis Opera is you have this homegrown talent yes. that you meld with people that you bring in from the outside and, and, and you get to see a, a, some of the best performances and you don't even have to go to Broadway, you don't have to go to New York yes. or, or to a big city to see world-class talent. You just slide south, you know, you go to the best park, I mean the oldest park, the most beautiful park I think in the entire city. I say that because I've only been here for about five or six years, but as I have been around and looked at all the other places, I'm like McAllister Amphitheater is just the gem of all gyms. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we'd love to be able to stay there. We've been there now for five, five years, uh, bringing back, you know, just uh, probably over a thousand people are going to be there this year. We want you to register because there's limited space. We're hoping that you fill it up, which is 2,000 and people capacity. You can picnic, you can come early, you can bring your own refreshments. Uh, there's going to be food trucks from South Indy that are going to be there. So there's a whole ev um, avenue of things that you're going to be able to experience that's going to highlight the South of Indianapolis 
bringing in all this phenomenal talent. His brother's going to be with him. Um, we're going to have the Indianapolis Youth Orchestra make a debut with us. We're going to have our Indianapolis Opera Chorus is going to be in, in singing with us. I mean, it is a full complement. It's free, by the way. It's free. There's that's no a, barriers. That's a big deal. Yeah. There's that's, no barrier. That's huge. Now, we ask people to really think about how they can help with a donation because, as you know, there are people that are going to come and they need to be able to see opera for the first time, and your donation is going to help them be able to do that. You might love opera. You might love classical music, but there are people that we really want to be able to open this up to any age, any background, any culture, any choice, all of it. The people of our community need to be able to come and see it. We put no barriers in front of it. All right, so the show is free. They do ask you to register. What You register where? At our website, indieopera.org. Right there on the home page, it says click for reservations. Get you on the list. We'll be checking you as you come in. And uh, we're going to be we're gonna be looking forward to having everybody come out. And, of course, Tosca uh, is part of the season. I believe you have the Magic Flute coming yes. out this year, which is a massive work. And as you said, the slow countdown to the 50th <laughs> yes. anniversary, because I, I take it uh, that's, that's going to take a lot of planning. Yes, 50 years deserves some planning. And uh, our board of directors and our staff is looking forward to how we build this and how, we be able to, how we're able to bring artists like Jared and Joshua and Angela and Alfred Savvy and all these artists together to be able to celebrate our 50th anniversary. And we're going to go back into our p history. I mean, it is a rich history of phenomenal people in our community, and uh, we're looking forward to being able to just spend time really doing that. And the hint is what we're going to be doing over the next three years. He mentioned your brother. Yes. We, we, we got to plug Jared here. We, who, we, of course who, we do. Who is Jared for so, people who don't know? Uh, I have an identical twin brother, mm -hmm. and uh, Jared Thompson. He is a phenomenal saxophonist, composer, band leader of the group Premium Blend. Uh, and we're excited to play together because we don't really perform together all that often. Uh, he's jazz heavy and I'm very heavy with classical, but it's an opportunity for us to show Indianapolis and the audience that there is and has always been a conversation going on between genres, whether it be opera, classical music, jazz. Uh, there are operas that are inspired by some of these jazz greats, and so we're excited to do a work together with Angela Brown that's going to take a tune from the late Roy Hargrove uh, and just kind of match it up a little bit. Jared's done some fun things with it, so we're not going to tip our hand too much, but uh, <laughs> it's always exciting to perform together because it is a rare occurrence, and so you won't be seeing double. There's one of me and there's one of him. We're just kind of teaming up and collaborating together. This one, one has shoes and one doesn't. That's, That's that will be your tell. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. But the classical and jazz worlds, those have been melding at least for the last hundred years, going back to George Gershwin, Absolutely. the works of Duke Ellington. Yeah. Uh, Louis Armstrong always said that he used to warm up by listening to classical records. Yeah. And that's that's how he that's how he warmed up yeah, to, you for know, shows. They're, they're familiar bedfellows, mm -hmm. and they have a lot to learn from each other, to borrow from each other. And I think this is a wonderful way for all of these genres to continue that conversation as we talk about the life that we're all living in the 21st century. So this stuff is very exciting for me. And I love the opportunity to be able and to do it. And it takes that. opera to bring it all together. Yeah. There's nothing we cannot put in opera. I mean, it's all there. So, I mean, why not have Jared and Josh and Angela come together and showcase that, hey, it all is going to be part of this kind of uh, celebration at the park. Opera in the Park at Garfield Park this Saturday. We've got the info at WRTV.com. It's free. They would like you to register at IndieOpera.org, and it's the opener for season number 48 for the Indianapolis Opera. David Starkey, Joshua Thompson, really appreciate you stopping by. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. We will see you this Saturday.